All right, today we're going to talk about when lines intersect a circle and there's are secant lines when they go through the circle or even tangent lines and they form angles and these angles have vertexes where these two lines meet or the vertex or where the angle kind of has its peak um, and this vertex is either going to be in the circle on the circle or outside of the circle and how we find the angle measurements based on that so we just talked about inscribed angles and inscribed angles are when that vertex are on the circle and they're one half of the arc that that angle is eating. So for our first example here, you'll see we have our first line right here um, and our second line and then we have our vertex which is right here and that is in the circle. So this is when the vertex is in the circle. The rule here is to find this angle measurement these two angles right here and right here will be equal because of vertical angles. To find their angle measurements, you're going to take the two arcs that are happening, you're going to add them up and divide by two. So I'm going to write that in rules here, and then we're going to do an example. So to find the measurement of angle AVC, which is right here, AVC, you will take one half times the two arcs, you know, the two arcs it's eating. Notice here's this angle, it is eating this arc right here, which is 55 degrees, which is arc AC. Plus, since it's a vertical angle, it means it's also eating the opposite arc, which is over here, which is DB, we got cut off there, um, which is DB, which is 75 degrees. So it's half of the two arcs that it's encountering. So if I ask you this problem, it'd be one half the first arc that it's encompassing, which is 55, plus the second arc, which is 75. If I add those together, I get 55 plus 75, which is 130, and divide that by two, and I get it to be 65 degrees. So this interior angle here is 65 degrees. The next rule is when the vertex is on the circle. So you'll notice here, when I have my lines and they're meeting, my vertex is sitting right there on the edge. So vertex on the circle. The rule here is this is only eating one of the angles. It's eating one arc. Um, so it's just going to be the same as inscribed. It's going to be half of the arc. So for example, the measurement of angle AVC here, it's going to be one half of the arc. And the arc it is encountering is VC. So VC here is 168 degrees. So half of 168 is 84 degrees. So this measurement here is 84 degrees. The final rule is when the vertex is outside the circle. So if you notice here, we've got our angle forming and our vertex is way out there. So this is when the vertex is out of the circle. Again, similar to when the vertex was in the circle, there are two arcs it is encountering. It is encountering this first arc out here, AD, as well as this little one right here, BC. Now, instead of adding them together and dividing by two, we're going to subtract them here. So to find the measurement of angle A, V, D, it'd be one half your larger arc. My larger arc is one that's on the outer edge here, which is AD, minus my smaller arc, which is BC. So in this instance here, I've got one half. Well, my larger arc is right here. It's that 160 minus my smaller arc is the 80. 160 minus 80 is just 80. And then one half times 80 is just 40 degrees. So those are your three rules. So every time we do a problem, you're going to ask yourself, is the vertex in, on, or out? And then use the rules. If it's in, you add them together and divide by two. If it's on, you just divide by two. And if it's out, you subtract them and divide by two. So we're going to do some examples to kind of help us out here. So we're going to find angle A, V, C here. So first, we're going to figure out what type of vertex this is. I notice the vertex is right here, and that is on the circle. So since it's on, I'm going to do one half times the arc it is eating or encountering. So one half, the arc that is in, is in between these lines is right here, and that's 150. So I'm doing one half times 150. So half of 150 is 75. 
and we're good to go. All right, let's look at the next one. Here is my angle. Actually, I'm going to do a better job with that one. So we're looking for A, V, C. So this vertex is inside the circle. When it is inside the circle, we do one half times, and you add the two arcs. So one arc that is between these two things is 80. Plus the other arc is going to be the vertical angle of it. So you go to the opposite side of the shape here, which is right over here, which is 40. All right. 80 plus 40 is 120. So I'm taking one half of 120, which ends up being 60. Next one here, we're going to look for angle A, V, C again. If I look for my vertex, my vertex is right here. It is outside the circle. For the outside of the circle, it is one half. And then you take your larger arc. The larger arc that's between these two is this 80 right here. Minus the smaller arc, which is this one right here, minus 20. 80 minus 20 is 60, and half of 60 is 30 degrees. Where these problems get a little more complex are problems like the following. We've well, got a lot going on. So I think it's super helpful to kind of highlight as we go. So we're going to be answering these three questions down here. The first one is find W, X, Y. So I'm going to highlight W, X to Y. All right, for this one, that vertex is right here on X. That is on the circle. So this one's going to be one half times the arc it is encountering. Well, the arc it's encountering is right here. The issue is, is I don't see any angles there. So I have to be clever. If we look, we have our whole circle here. We know the entire circle, the arc adds up to 360. If I notice, I have markings all around it. So I've got this 130 here, this 90, and this 20. So if I take that 360 and I minus the 130, minus the 90, and minus the 20, I'm going to get 120 degrees, which is what this remaining arc is. So to answer my problem, I have to do one half times that arc, which is 120. Half of 120 is just 60. For the next problem, we are trying to find angle one. So I've got to figure out where is angle one. Here's angle one. So what that's talking about here is it's talking about this angle right there. All right. So with this angle one, actually, just kidding. It is actually talking about this angle right here, angle one. My bad. So I look at this angle here. Here's my vertex. It is on the circle as well. Since it's on, it's going to be one half times the arc is encountering. So you look at your end, the arc is encountering from one end to the next, which is this 130 right there. So I'm going to do one half times 130, which equals 65 degrees. last question for this one is angle two. Angle two is right here, and it's talking about this angle, which means the vertex is outside of the circle. So since it's out, the rule for out is one half. You take your larger arc minus your smaller arc. Well, the larger arc it is eating, all right, or encountering is at 130. Minus the smaller arc is right here, which is that 20. 130 minus 20 is 110, and half of 110 is 55. So these pictures can get kind of crazy, but it does help to kind of highlight or focus on one thing at a time. All right, our last example is another kind of crazy looking one here. So we're given some things. So the first one they want us to find is STU. So I'm going to find that angle. So STU. If I find that vertex, it is on my circle, which means it's going to be one half times the arc. Well, the arc that's between it is right here, and I don't see any angle measurement, so we're going to have to do the same thing we did before. We know that all the circles add up to 360. We're going to subtract all the arc measurements we see, so I see that 150 right there. If I continue counterclockwise, I see that 90, and then I see a 50. When I subtract that, I end up getting 70 degrees, so this arc right here is 70 degrees which means to find that angle that's on it, I take half of that arc, so 1 half times 70 is 35 degrees. For my next one here, measurement of angle 1. Angle 1's right here, which means it's this angle. 
if I'm looking at that vertex, it is in the circle. For in the circle, you take one half times and you add your two arcs together. So the first arc is between these two lines right here, which is 90. The other one's gonna be on the opposite side with this vertical angle, which ends up being the same 70 we just used. Right, 90 plus 70 is 160, and half of 160 is 80 degrees. Last one for angle two here. Angle two is right there, so if I highlight that angle, if I find my vertex, it is outside of the circle. For angles that are outside, it's gonna be one half, and you're gonna add the two arcs that are encountering or in between it. So the first one's this big arc out here, which is 150, minus the other arc is inside here. It's the smaller one, it is 50. 150 minus 50 is 100, and half of 100 is 50 degrees. And that is it.